Hey team. I recently had to replace the um, my live bait tank pump, um, and this is essentially what I have in my boat, and I was using this uh, Johnson pump. This is actually a brand new unit, but uh, the nice thing about these Johnson pumps um, is that they actually have, it's a cartridge system for the actual pump motor. So this red bit is actually still um, under my hull, um, in, my, in my boat, within the hull, sorry. Um, and all I had to do to take it out is I flick this little tab on the side and spin it and then I've got the motor. So this one here is a brand new one. Um, I've got my old one right here and I also have the switch that I was using to flick it on and off because I really wasn't sure um, where it was failing. So to show you how I figured that out, I got my multimeter here and I've got it here flicked on the um, continuity um, symbol. And it's pretty easy. I just uh, put, connect the wires together here, negative, positive, and it should go much lower than one. It should actually kind of approach zero. So, so far nothing, but it's, pretend, it's a possible that the switch is in the off position. So I'll flick it on the other position. And we'll try that again. And still nothing. So definitely there's an issue with the switch here. Um, but it also felt like even when it was starting to fail that there was potentially something with the pump. So I decided to also take the pump out and give that a go. So we'll touch the wires together as well. And it's kind of dropping, it's like around 600, 650, um, which is not very good because you want it to be much closer to zero than that, which would probably explain why the pump um, was kind of starting to sound weak as well. So if I take on, take the new stuff, so for example, this new switch, um, and I, it's at the off position at the moment, so we should get no reading on our multimeter, which we don't. If I flick it to the on position, oh, if I can get these to touch, there you go, a nice reading of zero. So it's a nice healthy switch, brand new as it should be. Um, and just for comparison's sake, let's, um, let's touch the connectors of the pump, of the new pump. There you go, a nice and healthy pump. So I figured out by using the multimeter that, you know, that it was both the switch and the actual pump. So I went, uh, went out and bought my $10 switch and my $40 pump. And all I'm gonna do now is Take this out and I can keep this or dispose of it or keep it in case I wanna swap the, the actual um, shell of the pump. Um, and yeah, and then slide this one into to the, to the current um, pump casing. What I also like to do, if you look at this one here, uh, the switch basically just, it probably, probably started corroding and rusting within because of all the, you know, the exposure to salt water. So I like to use type A grease or, or uh, natural lanolin, which is basically um, wool grease, so it's derived from sheep's wool. Um, it's natural and, it, and, it, and quite, quite nice and sticky and thick. So what I'll do is before I install it, if I, before I install it in the boat, I'll kind of like smudge it around all these metallic parts and it'll kind of um, give me a bit more, um, bit more life out of these components. Cool, I hope that was helpful.